How's it going guys? I am Alan. You might have seen me as a desk analyst for Flashpoint and I've been drafted in to help nail down the best AWPers of every single year from 2013 to 2020. So kicking off with 2013, we've gone with JW as the best AWPer of the year. We were really torn between JW and Danish AWPer Nico, but although JW had fewer kills with the AWP, we felt like he was more impactful, and for many, he was the MVP of CSGO's first major, DreamHack Winter 2013. Uh, yeah. 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 Look, we gon' make it push you to cool. They can't Long take us. Titan stay cool. They're gonna be fine when I see the gun. Oh my god, JW, he gets the second one. And he's gonna go with a C set. Spray is here. System trapped in the corner. Now, 20 seconds. What? Yes, yes, are you kidding? A little bit. They're in a 5 on 3, now a 5 on 2 as JW picks up the third kill. They're going to kill the Oh, it's gone, JW. What oh, is going on? Incredible! They're going to get up close, but JW will pick off one, gets a second one with the AWP. Mouse. Oh, Ooh, JW what? He gets a shot, my After God! After a difficult period on the second tier of French squads, Kenny S was eventually given a second chance to play under Mastermind Existence in April 2014. With his magic stick in hand, Kenny S displayed some of the highest level counter strike ever played. Without a fight, it's gonna come down to Kenny S with the AWP 1v3. We can see where he's looking now. Just gets the shot barely on MSL. Finds the second one. Kenny S point oh. blank with the no scope. Kenny S. Certainly going to be overtime. Kenny has the bomb, and that's a one crucial fact here. Looking for it. Going to get the one kill, and there comes. Oh, oh no! What are you kidding me? Across 2015, Guardian displayed a monstrous level of consistency and thrived as the focal point of his Navi squad, spearheading them to placings far beyond what the team could have achieved without him. Rounding out the year with a finals finish at the DreamHack Collusion of Poker Major. Guardian was named MVP of the tournament after putting on one heck of a show. Quickly falling apart here for Navi, getting a bit scary, but then Guardian has something to say about that. Takes out the kill on Apex, that was on Arch. And, wow, what a shot on the RPK. Gets the flick on the Maniac! Plus one! What a monster! Taking me. In the meantime, Guardian's going aggressive. Two, not three. He does. He's just shattering their hopes and dreams on long Titan Fall. Oh. He's gonna catch the man. He does take down Caesar. That's why I'm talking it up. But Guardian gets the ace. A promising breakout here on the international stage for his squad in Luminosity. 2016 saw Fall and cement himself in the history books. With his aggressive and proactive style of orping, the Brazilian godfather set the world alight and maintained a superhuman individual level whilst captaining his squad to both of 2016's major titles, a feat which few will ever be capable of matching. Disadvantage here, that auto sniper still wrecking them from Flamian. Falling, trying to move close here, mid-air shot on Guardian, he tries again, he's still got a little bit of help left, jumps around, fall and he gets that shot, and now it's seized. He's trying to predict it, seems. See him falling, oh, that's the shot, he gets all three kills. Drops him and Fallen, returns back on, takes a second as well, and the third, that's going to be the quick scope there. Oh, the fourth, Fallen, what are you doing? You're not allowed to do this in the vice. 
Fanta reacting fast as team oh. kills coming in. Fallen actually gets seized as well. This kill is it. It's going to be guarded. Now it's time to fall back. And he's fallen going to be capitalizing there as well. As I said, he won the round at that point. Why are you giving your orb away there? 17 points of health in a dream. This would be an ace clutch from Fallen. Okay, tags up. One. He's going to get... Oh! I'm starting to believe as well, Henry, because he's got to take a play. Yeah. Oh, Fallen! Stop blowing my mind! Hey, everyone. Sadokist here, longtime CSGO caster. It's great to see you again, and I'm looking forward to taking you from 2017 to the finish of this list. In 2017, it was the Danes who finally got domination. Astralis got their breakthrough event at the E-League Major in Atlanta but it was Device that was the most deadly and dominating on the team. Seconds. Now is the time, and Guardian picks up the first kill, spraying his Kiebu, but he can't make it work there on the bomb side. With just a couple of seconds, Device won't get the kill there. Oh my god, are you kidding me? A second one comes in! So, he's got to love the angle, but can he find the heads? He can! There, there's another one, there goes Simple. It's 15 seconds again, the bomb needs to go down, they're just running into the crosshair, and he's delivering every single time! The 2018 toxicity turned into terrific. A simple returned home to the Ukraine and found his rightful place in Na'Vi. Switching from what was considered to be a hybrid role to a main AWP player was a bit of a question mark at the start. However, it's been simply stunning and it is one of the most incredible and explosive things to watch in all of Counter-Strike. Simple there with the AWP taking down Rain first. Next in line is Solo Meister. The flick is in! Oh my god, Simple! seconds remain and Simple is still alive on the side just hiding it. I have no idea he's there. Great flick from Simple. Three on oh. one and Simple's going nuclear. Now Simple and Edward still alive. But you can see Surreal in a great position. What is that Surreal? Come on my guy. He had everything to go for him. Oh. Oh. Simple you're insane. 2019 we had a fresh French face come to the list. Our second Frenchman featured in this video as a shy and formerly reserved FPL star became an outright standout throughout the course of his rookie season. Zaiwu is a talent that we will see for years to come and is arguably one of the smartest players we've ever seen in all of Counter-Strike. He not only took over HLTV's number one ranking in the season, but was also the best AWP player. Massively on their T side as well. They're anticipating Banana from the looks of the guy. Oh, over here it's going to be Zaiwu that rings out first. No and way! Second. He's had enough! He's going to keep going through it. He doesn't really care, does That's he? That's four again! Oh, Here on Brawler, but Zyber wants to kill. There's the headshot, pulls it back. There's oh. the op, and Zyber's got the triple. Crims is the last man standing. If you're Crims, you have to be oh. scared, and Zyber wins it. That is unbelievable. Oh no, the bomb pun. It might be right in front. So oh my god! You got that scope, and Tarek is hiding behind Tetris. Zyber knows. He's got back to back quad kills. Not to be outdone, however, our first repeat offender on this list is none other than Simple. Despite not taking the HLTV's number one rating in 2020, he certainly took back his performance on the AWP. His incredibly explosive talent just can't be matched, and the rivalry between him and Zaiwu is something we will love watching for years to come. Trying to catch one, and he does. Flame has gone down and out, just perfecto and Simple. He needs a multi-kill, first found, Twist aggressing. They have to double peek, he's getting his shot, he's hitting another one! Simple, no, simple, that's unbelievable! One shot connecting, no! You can't do that, ridiculous!
So there you go, the best AWP players from each respective year of Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Did we leave someone off this list? Who might you have included for one of the respective years? And who do you expect to see in the years to come? Because I'm looking forward to finding out, and certainly I think Simple and Zywoo could be on that list. Thanks for your time, and like and comment. Like, subscribe, comment. I don't know what to say here. Just end the video.